I don't necessarily Move think one. he's great, but oh my god, if he ever gets anything started, you're fucked. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good first. Ooh, nice. Don't die in the time like that's in there. Yeah, I'll definitely have to learn where it's actually safe for me to do stuff against their uh, weird. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Madness. Oh yeah, good combo there. Thank you. That's it, my hell. Hey, that's that fight that um, Amelia does, or the skill that she fights her hair up. Is that like a uh, overhead? Um, which one? Let's see, what does it look like? Oh, um, is it that move? No, like the one where she like throws her hand up in the air. Um, it seems like your start up or for your combos. Um, oh, oh, yeah, okay, I think I know what move you're talking about. Um, it's jump kick, probably? Here, just, uh, just, like, down back real quick. This move? No, it's the one you're standing in, just throw the arrow. Not that one. It's, like, standing. This? Nope, not that either. Oh, okay, I know what you're talking about. Uh, down back? That one? Yes. Yeah, that one. Yeah, nope, that's a mid. That's my close slash. Um, I can do instant overheads off of it, though. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Ready okay. when you are. Uh, yep. All right, let's go back. Okay, very fun. Yeah, that's neat. Let's try to block that. Burn off of that like that. Oh, double KO? Okay. <laughs> 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 you use that dude. Does not feel like a move that would be low or anything. No, I accidentally didn't fly. That sucks. How do you fly? Like, you just double tap up, and for me, that's just something I have a hard time with. <laughs> okay, do you fly on stick? Yeah. Oh, okay. I fly on pad. That was good. Oh. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I just died. Nice. Uh, like, getting in on you is very difficult, so, like, trying to wait until the very end to commit is, uh, why I'm going for those so much more. Pretty happy about that conversion. I haven't done that one before. Uh, I'm back. gonna keep punching you yeah, I was gonna it. say help Ram is evading every move I do. Hard to hit him, I bet you can't block both. 
Um, remind me to break down the throw situation, the like throw disc situation, because um, the mix-up there is not as strong as it looks like it should be. Yeah, I need to take that to me apart. Yep, yep. Yep, like right as the wall. Oh my god, you're not dead. Yeah, I was gonna beat you to the grab, but I lost. <laughs> oh, okay, so, um, if you... That means that you either input it too early so it didn't come out, or super late. Um, because defensive throw always wins in situations like that. Okay. Um, on wake up and after exiting block stun, uh, you are throw immune for five frames while you can still throw me. But I assume you were trying to uh, throw me like after my first button. Because <laughs> that's mm -hmm. where I generally go for the throw mix up. Man. Yeah, I think one thing that super hurts me in, the, in this matchup though is like I'm a really defensive player and I usually like concede land, which is just like such a bad thing. For, yeah. for stride, but it's especially bad against Lewis because he actually benefits from it so much. That's definitely true. I mean, you know, like I said, I, the Zatos that have gone against that, it's like, you know, I don't have a chance in hell. It's just because as soon as I get they get the knockdown, I am... I mean, they are so good at doing the, like, high-level pressure, you know? Yeah, and I, I have a trouble with that. And, hey, I don't blame you. I would, too. You know, I'm playing Gold Lewis. What I have to do is just have circle motions. I don't have to consider so many variables at once, you know? Well, yeah, I'm getting better with it, but it's definitely slow. I love this out that's not the way I am getting hit by the machine gun. They're so, like... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I have one too. <laughs> the machine, the machine gun really hurts here. If he, if he didn't have that though, then yeah, like my my play style would be perfectly fine against against the uh, gold boost. But that that machine gun gives me something to actually like hurt a defensive player like me. I to be fair, like just blocking the machine gun isn't like too bad, all things considered. But I do lose like tons of health for doing it on it. For blocking it. Yeah, even just for blocking, it does a lot of damage. It does, like, less chip damage than, uh, Lust Shaker. Uh, still not that. It's like, you know, if this hits me twice, I, I, I might as well have just gotten hit by one and, like, nap and I'm just blocking it. Okay. I mean, I don't know, like, you definitely don't want to sit there and just get hit by it, but I... I don't think it's like a good enough tool to force you to stop playing the defensive game that you're wanting to. Well, I think in general, like, it's Skull Lewis's whole thing. I think having that makes it so it really cements the deal, though, that, like, playing defensive is not really super helpful against Skull Lewis, I think. At least for Zada. Alright. Ah, uh, yep. I tried to manually time the super jump. Yeah. I was so sure that that disc was gonna hit you. I was trying to go for the like the uncross up thing mm -hmm. <laughs> that it just didn't. <laughs> like, oh fuck. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Ooh. Froggy. Ah, the Typhoon came out. Why could that be the Typhoon in that situation? Ah. Yep. Wow, okay. I wasn't sure that it was actually gonna kill. Oh, yeah, I could come there. Mm -hmm. Let's rock. Ooh. 
One thing I do dislike about every every gold loose move being like, you know, the half circle. Not everyone, but a lot of his moves being just a half circle with the coffin. Is that it's hard to like for me mentally differentiate between his highs and his lows with the coffin. Yeah, like that'll just come with a matchup experience for sure. I was definitely yeah. running into that same thing. Yeah, no, no doubt. Jaxus was like, I actually, you know, I did pretty damn well while we were playing, and uh, I could tell part of it was he was struggling that same thing. So. Well, it, I just seems like a solid Gilders player too. It makes the cross up thing good. even funnier though. <laughs> Thank you. I try. I try really hard. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. I gotta start calling those out. Oh, Penny. Ah! You should pay more. I'm glad you didn't actually super there, because I'm pretty sure I messed up the timing on that safe jump. <laughs> Yeah, I was kind of super. I figured. <laughs> in like, I, in a situation like that, it makes sense. Yeah, careful on that one. Cause that like, I just true punished you there since it was the corner. Yeah. Are you gravel at any point during that? During my like close slash into the uh, yeah, you like you're trying to there and you're doing your corner hold, you know, your whole corner pressure thing. Do you think that's where I might be able to just like get you? I mean, what how fast did you say Saul's uppercut was two frames? Uh, well, Saul's uppercut it's invincible, so it doesn't matter as long as he Ooh. can start the move, he's free. Do you think you could if I do like close slash typhoon and I'm close enough to be thrown? Oh, 100%, yeah. Um, okay, low I'll slash 5H okay. doesn't quite frame trap throws, it frame traps everything else. So I, I'm i sure that low slash into Typhoon, which is way slower, um, is throwable. You're probably just having the same issue that I was, Barnum, which is a uh, guard crush puts you into stun for so much longer. It's hard to tell when you're supposed to press the button. Yeah, so a lot of the time your stuff just gets eaten. Oh, I did not notice you're at level 358. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It would, it would make sense that you're a, a good gold list. I mean, I literally just bought this game for. I was so hyped I dropped the whole, you know, 60 bucks just to play this character. So I've been all in. Mm -hmm, okay. I'm glad someone stuck with this. Oh, so many people are going to be gold list players, and then who do you see him playing? Not gold list. Oh fuck, okay. Ah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you know what's a really good move for uh not that you could have done it because you're in the air. The move where you do the puddle that will tell where you like I don't know how you even do it. Uh, oh break the law. Oh oh yeah, I guess I could do it like right before it ended. With uh, I if if Zato if I do burn it down and Azato is full screen he does puddle back and I can't catch him. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's I'm wondering at what point I would grab you. Probably between close slash and the typhoon would be my guess. But once again, you know I'm I'm not sure. I play just by what works. Oh. I can't predict that dash. Ooh, good combo. Yeah, I think I need to do that more where I throw out drills and just throw out drills again after drunkard shading, because it's going to catch people out, I think, where they're not, they're not going to expect it. And yeah, Kirijin, I, uh, I use the dash very, very little, so that when I do slip it in, it's just, like, not in the opponent's mind at all. Milvia can go Ultra Instinct now. <laughs> yep, but only very briefly. So, is that like, um, Dash 4, is that safe, like, safe, isn't it? Um, no, it's not. Uh, so it doesn't have a hitbox, so I'm just like, committing to movement. 
you can hit me immediately afterwards if you react in time, or you can, uh, it's like upper body invuln, you can still hit my feet. So you can like definitely stuff it, but if I like go through a move of yours, for example, you probably won't recover in time. Yeah. I'll create the future. And Cloak Flash is like when I, uh, when he like elbows me basically, right? Yeah, here, let's just test it. Let's just test it, because I'm curious. I can get the corner, can't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll just take the cool way to get the corner. Okay, okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you can throw yeah. me between these. Okay. How many you move for a second? Here, we'll just try it. Sorry, that was my bad. Sometimes I need it. I don't know. I don't think I have the room. I mean, you're not super close to me. It's tight. Yeah. If it's possible, yeah. it's tight. Um, I'll try. Yeah, yeah, if you're not close enough, then you'll have to correctly time a dash throw, which makes the makes it much more difficult. Oh, sorry. Okay. okay. Yeah, well, I don't know if I have the time because I'm in the corner. And there's like nowhere farther I could be, or nowhere closer I could be. In that because like the typhoon instantly smoothed you back a bit. The, the typhoon. Uh, the, the typhoon's the, the swinging thing, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, that's the. Well, yeah, it, it looks like it moves you back, like just a tiny bit when you actually start that up. Well, it's because the it's because hitting you with close slash is pushing me back a pinch, mm -hmm. and then uh, when I do the low, you know, I'm special canceling, so I still slide a little. Let me go back. Oh, um, I think I'm gonna stop for now. Oh, but... Fair enough. I don't blame you. Well, yeah, it's just so hot. It's just like, I don't know, playing feels dreadful, but I kept doing it. Where... I need the practice. Oh, Where are you guys, by the way? Uh, Salem. Located. Very much Salem. Well, I'm in Kaiser. So. Salem-ish. <laughs> I, I joined I joined for that KI thing, I think, right? Uh, right, yeah, all the way back when we were like trying to get more people to do that. That game is still super fun. Yeah, KI is super fun. Uh, I... Yeah, I'm in, uh, Grant's Pass. Oh, gotcha. Not that I'd be doing in-person stuff. We're really COVID-conscious, like I said, I... Yeah, that's, I'm, that's very fair. I hope that you guys do do some online events again here soon, because I would love to play. I'd like to. Um, it's just a question of... Oh, God, I keep this one. Uh, like, for online stuff, like, we can't have prizes unless someone, like, provides them, because you can't charge people for online stuff, or it falls under Oregon's gambling laws. Um, so, like, stuff like that makes it difficult, and then just amount of time. If we know we're not going to have an SSF, rather than it getting cancelled the day before, like this week, then we might be able to do just, like, a for fun couple brackets. But, like... Wait. Cam for a tournament, it counts as gambling. Yep. We uh we looked into that pretty hard back during the uh, the start of COVID. It's why the uh, the Salem shutdown leagues for a while there ran in the format that they did because satellite gaming was providing all the prizes, but they can only give uh like a certain amount. Oh god, I didn't get the cash. So uh, we could only do it like monthly league and then put all those prizes at the end. It's a huge pain in the ass. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that definitely is. I assume it doesn't apply in person, it's only the online. Yep, component. it is. It's specifically the online gambling laws that it interacts with. Oh man, that's very, very lawyerly and unfortunate. Ah. Man, I wonder how the law is phrased. I'm so curious by that. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember exactly. It's been a while since I've looked at it, but basically, just gambling and online gambling laws are effectively separate. Yeah, I know they're super similar in gambling laws in Europe, in like most of Europe. So it seems like a general thing. I was like, I got so lucky with that six P. <laughs> It like counter hit you through your far slash because it just barely went through the upper body and mm -hmm. 
Okay, so apparently there's some images with these, these, these for these Jacko leaks of in-game stuff, and it's like, yeah, this. I'm looking at the excerpt one. It literally could just be someone like photoshopped the excerpt one into, into this game because they look identical. So that's that's. I don't know. It's kind of looking like that. She has like a different outfit and stuff in this game. No, I mean she's looking pretty identical. So. You know, there's some things that are slightly different, like the, there's no Ankh. For me, no, well, mm, here's the thing. The place where the Ankh would be is covered up in this screenshot, so... Oh, uh... Oh, by the way, uh, Jaxus, I never sent you the story. Oh, right, yeah. I would like to land an attack! <laughs> We're both just making circles around each other right now. Oh, God. All right. Wow, I'm not dead. I definitely just got put to a single pixel because I tried to faultless and hit the buttons out of order, so I got kick and mm. counter hit. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, good job closing it, though. Mm -hmm. Got you. I, don't, I don't know what to think on this one, though. So it looks very compelling, but also at the same time, it's like it's it just some good photo work. And my stance on it is, I assume it is correct. I do not assume that it is real. <laughs> it might be real, but. Why am I just now hearing all about all of these oh. elected and serving animals as local government officials? <laughs> now I gotta look into Mayor Bosco. Tell me about Bosco the dog. Who is this man? Over his responsibility. Oh. I was trying so hard during that entire like last sequence to be like, I am going to block the reversal. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> and then you never did it. <laughs> oh. What is my reversal? Uh, it's the the super with the two swords. Oh. Yeah. I, I can't focus on that um, mix-up issue with the hair up the skill I was talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. the... Well, it's... um. Done correctly, it is an unreactable overhead or low. The thing is, the overhead, if I don't have meter and you block it, uh, I am super minus. Like, you get to press a button and hit me. Oh, okay. So, it's a lot riskier to go for the overhead without meter, but you know, it's an instant overhead, so. Not like it doesn't have uses. Well, I guess if it is Jacko, I think I'll probably start playing Jacko, because, you know, the, the gimmick characters compel me. Alright. What does Jacko do? Uh, there is a 0% chance that she will function anything like her Exert version. Too crazy? Uh, she... The running joke is that she's not actually a fighting game character, she's a MOBA character. Uh, and that joke is... closer than you might think to correct. Um, so, cool so downs? what cooldowns? Uh, she sets houses as they are out over time. They spawn minions. Um, as they are out on the screen and like active, uh, they level up over time and then spawn better minions and faster. Uh, and they just like if you hit Jacko, the minions currently on screen despawn, but the houses stay there. She is bizarre. Like I, I can't. Was she balanced? Uh, she was not very good. Like, okay. she wasn't was the worst, speak. but uh, people hated her because you have to fight her very differently. I think overall she was actually, like, close to a cool design. Close to? <laughs> I, I expect a lot of her normals to stay the same, because she was, like, most of a functional character in there. I am very curious to see if her 2D will still be a uh, reversal. What other care? Okay, so I know I know Kai was really simplified 
coming into this game. Everybody was to some extent because they just had a lot more moves, but what I mean by that is like I lost a gimmick that was kind of central to this character. Um, sort of. Coming from Exert, yes. Uh, Exert is where he got that gimmick though, the grinders. The weird, okay. Yeah, he'd never had that before Exert. Okay. Um. Interesting then, so he's more like he was Holy before shit. Exert. I can't believe I picked that up. Uh, yeah, he's closer to like the XX version in this in some ways. Uh, oh, sorry, he did lose Greed Sever, that's important. Well, how did that work? Move uh, you know his flip kick move? Yes. Uh, picture that, but instead he like glows colors while he's doing it, um, and it's an overhead. There you go. That's oh, great sever. Okay. Oh, and it's like super fucking minus. Okay. Um, did anybody lose any like major iconic thing to them in the roster so far? Obviously yes, absolutely. Milia used to have a, a move called Pin. Uh, it was a mechanic where you only had one, uh, and you could throw it from the air as like a fuck off, I'm coming in projectile, because it just went downwards at a 45 degree angle. Okay. Um, but after you threw it, you would have to go pick it up again. It, it's it been like part of her kit. Thing. Yeah, it, it like, it's, I think it's actually a dagger. People just call it pin. Okay. Um, but yeah, that has been a thing that she's had in every version prior to Strive, and people were like, oh my god, there is no way this character is going to function without it. Uh, and they gave her, well, I mean, A, just like good mobility, but, um... So she didn't used to be as mobile as she Uh, she definitely was still as mobile, um, in some of the games, better mobility just because of system stuff. Um, Were you but upset? the rest of the cast, well, I didn't play Milia in the old games, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I don't think she needs it. I think if she had it in this game, she'd be pretty fucked up, to be honest. Like, imagine if Milia just had an instant version of Ram's jump heavy, but she could act after it while it was coming down on its own. Yeah, that's crazy. Get, I can guess the right here. Well, is there a... Okay, so that's one move she's always had. I mean, yeah, I could see people being upset about that. Is there anything else like that? Uh, I'm trying to think, because I know that there is. Uh, people got really upset about Anji not having a couple specific moves, but, like, rather than him, like, losing Butterfly or Twirl, for example, it's he used to have, like, a 3P that was just an instant overhead.